Weather Service in Cleveland has issued a flood warning for the Scioto River near Prospect until late Thursday night. At 4 p.m. Sunday, the stage was 7.1 feet. Flood stage is 9 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. The river will rise above flood stage this evening to 10.6 feet early tomorrow afternoon. It may rise further to 11.6 feet early Wednesday afternoon. It will then fall below flood stage Thursday evening. Impact at 10 feet, Highway 203 is inaccessible north of Prospect. Flooding occurs near Elm Street in northern parts of Prospect. Impact at 12 feet, Highway 203 inaccessible north of Prospect. In Prospect, Elm, West River, Prospect, and Upper Sandusky Roads are flood. Water covers portions of River Road north of Hoskins Road in northwest Delaware County. The land flooding also begins along State Route 257 north of Route 36. a flood warning for the Scioto River near the Rue. From late tonight to Tuesday evening, at 4 p.m. Sunday, the stage was 9.1 feet. Flood stage is 12 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late tonight to a crest of 12.9 feet tomorrow evening. It will then fall below flood stage Tuesday afternoon. Impact at 12 feet, flooding occurs in Lillian area south of the village of LaRue. Roads inundated include High Street, LaRue Prospect Road, and parts of Vine Street. Impact, at 13 feet, river at Bankville in the village of LaRue. Widespread flooding on area roads including School Street. a flood warning for the Scioto River at Circleville. From late tonight to Wednesday morning, at 5.30 p.m. Sunday, the stage was 7.8 feet. Flood stage is 15 feet. Minor flooding is forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage early Monday morning to a crest of 18.7 feet early Tuesday morning. It will then fall below flood stage early Wednesday morning. Impact at 18.5 feet. Flooding begins at backwater near Big Darby Creek. Flooding also affects low-lying areas near Little Walnut and Canal and Island Roads. A frost advisor. Service in Cleveland has issued a flood warning for small streams in Ashland County, Crawford County, Southern Huron County, Northern Knox County, Northeastern Marion County, Northeastern Morrow County, Richland County, Northwestern Holmes County in Northeastern Ohio, Southeastern Seneca County, Eastern Wyandotte County, until 12.30 a.m. At 6.43 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain. Flooding is already occurring in the Warren area. Between 2 and 3.5 inches of rain have fallen. Some locations that will experience flooding include Mansfield, Ashland, Butte Cyrus, Galleon, Shelby, Willard, Ontario, Lexington, Crestline, Loudonville, New London, Belleville, Plymouth, New Washington, Hayesville, Savannah, Hoke, Chatfield, Greenwich, and Butler. Flooding is occurring along the Black Fork Mohegan. The Black Fork comes out of banks upstream of the river gauge at 16.5 feet. Additional nuisance flooding may be possible across the warning area. Mohican River will be at Bankful through much of Loudonville. Some low-lying campgrounds near the river could see some minor inundation. A frost at service in Cleveland has issued a flood warning for Central Morrow County until 6.45 a.m. At 12.45 a.m., local law enforcement reported ongoing road closures due to flooding from earlier rainfall. 
This includes State Route 529 near State Route 61 and State Route 529 near Cardington. Flooding is still occurring on the Whetstone Creek and will persist for the next couple of hours. Between 2 and 3 inches of rain fell with the rain on Sunday. Some locations that will experience flooding include Mount Gilead, Cardington, Edison and Fulton. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Now look.